Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Behind the Studs. Ask me how long <laughs> Jimmy's having some technical difficulties. Hey, yeah. <laughs> can you hear me? I can hear myself. Hey, look there at he that. is. Nice. <laughs> what were you trying to do? Like some sort of like yeah, flamboyant just, entrance just of some sort? Back. Jesus. Sit back and just fall apart, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Nice. All right. All right. Well, All how right. are you, sir? Good. Good. Yeah. Excellent. Bunch of stuff going on. Excellent. All right. We're going to, it's going to be a short show, but uh, right. it's going to be very informative. Oh, good. Yeah. I like informative. For the homeowner and the contractor. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, Where do you want to start? Jesus, mostly it's like uh, it's this one. First of all, uh, contractor. Mm-hmm. Um, if you get a chance to do this, actually, homeowner can do this also. Uh, if you have to drill stone, oh my God, you got to break up stone ledge. Uh, you have to. It's a big rock. It's a big piece of ledge, like I've been dealing mm-hmm. with. Yeah. Uh, and I've just about got to the end of it. So what do you do? You can't jackhammer it away. It's too big. You'll just be chipping it forever, and your neighbors will, will hate you and kill you. Mm-hmm. Um, and contractors, if you get to the point where it's in a house, like if you were excuse me, working in a basement, you're going to pour a floor, and it happens to be stone, ledge, stuff that's in the way, or old concrete that's in the way. Mm-hmm. It's got rebar in it or whatever, and it's hard to crack. What you can do is this. You either you can rent a drill, um, or you can buy one. Uh, I, I actually bought one because it was going to be it was a lot of work that I had to do. I so it was a, cheaper, basically. To for me, it was it. cheaper yeah. to buy a seven hundred fifty hundred seven hundred fifty dollar Bosch hammer drill. That's great. It, they're really, really good. Yeah. They're, they're the best in the best in the market. Can't mm-hmm. be unless you want to buy, spend th- millions on a Hilti. Mm-hmm. And and the bits for them too are expensive. Yeah, these bits are about a. The bit that I got was about um yeah they're only about a hundred bucks. Sometimes wow. one hundred and ten. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. But they're they're. They're tough as nails. Yep. Very, very good bits. So what I'm doing right now is I'm drilling stone, um, drilling ledge. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have to use, I use this product. It's called Dexapan. And Dexapan is a grout that you mix with water. Mm-hmm. It, uh, it come, you mix it with the exact amount of water in it. It turns into like a slurry, very um, watery substance. Okay. Once you drill the holes, you pour this slurry into the holes. Mm-hmm. And um, you wait about anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. Okay. And you come back and the rock is cracked. No kidding. Cracks. It just expands. Expands and cracks. Wow. Right. Okay, cool. So the way you do that, you can actually look online how to do it. Um, so what you're supposed to do is you have, an, have to have an inch and a half uh, drill. Okay. Uh, hammer drill. Yep. So you drill down. I usually go like about nine inches. Okay. Uh, I think you go maybe a foot. Okay. And you're supposed to go a foot apart, like about a foot mm-hmm. apart from each hole that you dig. Okay. Drill. If you're drilling certain stone, it takes a longer it takes longer to sure, do it. Sure. Yeah. Um, Granite. If you're doing cement, it's pretty much consistent. Done. Mm-hmm. Done. Done. Done, yeah. done. It goes pretty quick. Uh, you mix up. You mix up this. Mix up the mix. You pour it in the hole, and you can either cover it or whatever. Now, they. They now make this dexapan in for different temperatures. Hmm. So if you're in uh, below freezing, yeah, or very close to it, thirty-two. I think that's. I think the lowest they go is twenty degrees. Oh wow! Yeah, and you can still use the stuff, and it will still activate, and it will still pop. Wow! You can use it up to I think eighty degrees. Hmm. Um, using it, uh, I think the ideal temperature is like around seventy-seven. So. <clears throat> Very successful with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm drilling into granite. I was drilling into ledge. Mm. Um, and the, my stone was originally somewhere about five and a half feet tall. And now I'm down to uh, eight inches. Wow. I'm just trying to break up all the little really? stuff. Yeah, yeah. Just so I can get below grade. Yep. And then I can pour my floor. Nice. And that's actually, I think, is the hardest part right now, trying to do this. Yeah. I'm trying to drill it. And yeah, because it's all jagged and crappy. and mm-hmm. But I'll get it. Um, nice. I'll get that part. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Next one. Next, I want to talk about is uh, we've talked about it before on the show. I was praising about it called Easy Sand. Um, UG, I think UGL makes it, or Sheetrock makes it. It's mm-hmm. a powder form, and you can mix it with water, and you can use it as a 
compound mud after you've sheetrocked. Mm-hmm. If you got to do a quick patch or if you got to get a coat on, you want to get two coats on in a day, you can either use the Easy Sand 45 or the 90. It gets hard and you can add the next coat. You'll be all set. And the catch is it always looks wet. It always looks wet till the next day. Yep. Right. Next day it'll be It'll white. be dry. It'll be dry. But it looks it'll wet. be hard, but yep. it looks wet. Yep. I found out to my surprise mm-hmm. that you cannot sponge sponge sand easy sand. Really? Now I didn't realize this, but you can it's on the it's on the container of um all the other ones, the sheetrock, the the pro form, all the other uh sheetrock buckets. It tells you how to you can sand it with a grit or you can sponge sand it. Mm-hmm. And I pretty much got the knack down on sponge sanding now. And that's not easy. No. I mean, I've tried it. it I, it's never worked for me. No. It's 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 basically, you can actually use a grout sponge, mm-hmm. and that actually works pretty good. Because it's got the rough side. Yeah. Yep. And it, that can work really good. Yeah. You know, it's all, that animal all depends on the dryness of the room, how wet is the compound, mm-hmm. what texture. It's it's a funny, but you got it. You got to be very light with it, but you can feather it in really, really nice. Mm-hmm. You can do a really nice job. And especially no dust. Right. No dust. Which is great. Right. Yeah. So, if you can pull it off, figure it out and learn yeah. how to do it. That's a great way to do it. You cannot sponge easy sand. It mm. does not work. And I think I know why. Why? Because it's the it's the glue that's in it mm-hmm. that just that sets it up. Yep. And all you do is it wipes away and it clumps. Not mm. even cl- let me let me put it this way. If you've got it, if you got already compound down and then you put the easy sand on top of it, or mm-hmm. you do easy sand, do another coat of easy sand, that last coat of easy sand that you got, you go to sponge sand it, it starts to pull up. Mm. And then you've got these big cliffs and big pock marks. I mean, big. It's just like, it's just like disintegrates. Yeah. And mm. there's, it's just a disaster. Yeah. Then you have to go with um, Home Depot sells a really good finish. I, you can use it as a finished compound. Mm-hmm. It's the lime green bucket. Yep. And um, I've turned a bunch of other uh, painters onto that, and they really, they really like it a lot. Hmm. That's my finished coat. Yeah. So that'll work out really good. Or the Pro Form Red Top, um, and that works really good too. Mm-hmm. So that's for either the homeowner or for the contractor. Right. So don't try to sponge sand easy sand. It's not going to work. You gotta, you'll, you'll hate yourself. <laughs> Won't work. <laughs> you can have more work to do. Right. That's um, done. Yeah. So this last one I want to talk about, and it just happened to me again today. And mm-hmm. then this goes out to the contractors out there from California to Maine to Florida, Texas, all over. I've gotten four of these scams. Oh, no. Yeah. I just got one today. Okay. And my reply to the guy was not a very pretty one. <laughs> what, he called you? They don't call you. Okay. So how do I know it's a scam? All right. Pretty much, pretty simple. First of all, it's the same letter. So contractors, you're probably going to get this one. So I do not, I'm not on Yelp. No. Um, my name is on Yelp mm-hmm. and that's it. But you can look me up. You can look up Dreyfus Construct Home Improvement. You know, I'm on Google. You can find that on my website, this, the other thing. So I've gotten four separate texts over the past six months. And they all start like this. Hello, I got your name on Yelp saying that you're a professional painter. Could you please, I have, I just moved into, okay, I've gotten two that said New Haven. Mm -hmm. One said Hartford. Mm -hmm. um, The other one said uh, Bridgeport. Mm. Okay. Um, I want to, if you could send me your email, I will send you all the details that are, that is needed, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So that's totally legit. Mm-hmm. Guy's got a name. It's got a fictitious name. Mm-hmm. And he tells me. So I get the address. I give him my email address. And they actually send me the address of the place. Mm. All right? Mm-hmm. So, and this is all the same. They say all the same. We have a house on such and such a street. My wife does not like the colors. We And this is all the same. This is what they all said. We just want the ceilings and walls painted. No trim. Mm. No trim. These are the dimensions of the rooms. Mm. Give me all the dimensions. Okay. And then they say, uh, we can supply the paint. Mm-hmm. We need your labor cost. Mm-hmm. We have someone 
who is property managing now. They don't tell me who Mm -hmm. we have someone who's property managing. So they will let you in to do the job. Can you just give me an estimate on the square footage of the rooms we just gave you and uh, send me the contract and we'll send you a check for half. Mm. Right. Yeah. Sounds legit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. First of all, Mm -hmm. they gave me the address. Mm -hmm. I Googled it. Mm -hmm. Legit. Yep. And it's just far enough away to be inconvenienced for me to get there. Mm -hmm. So basically it's going to take me almost an hour to get there. Right. 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 So I'm not going to do, I don't, it's in a legitimate neighborhood. I did Google maps. You have to write down there. Boom. Okay, fine. The catch is this. This is what they do. You write up the quote. They tell you, okay, where do you want me to send the check? They don't want to send it to your address. No. Where do they want it? In they your want account. your routing number. They yeah. want your routing number and everything else. Yep. And that's where they get you. Yep. Boom. Once they've got it, I don't know necessarily how they do it. But mm-hmm. they, once they have your shit, they're going to take a shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. So I did go out on one a long time ago. And um, I drove there and I got to this house. I actually had Paul with us. Mm. And this was far. Exactly. Same thing. Just an hour away. And the house was a freaking dump. Mm. But there was a sign on the house saying for sale. Mm. So I called the mortgage people to go, no, we don't know anything about this whatsoever. Wow. So again, they wanted me. They were going to send me a check Mm -hmm. with my routing number. (laughs) So that's so contract is out there. Mm. That's how they get you. That's Mm -hmm. one way they're going to get you. So I was if I drove down to that house, they would have been like, what are you doing here? Right. You know? Yeah. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. Yeah, I mean these these scams are getting so good. They're getting so better. good. Yeah, yeah, and they have a guy's name, and I mean they'll get right back to you in the next couple of days. And their English is perfect, mm-hmm. so it it almost it looks very legitimate. Yeah, you know we'll get right back to you. Somehow, I, the other thing too, contractors, you're going to be getting these too, and I get them all the time now. So, what I do is this: I get a random text message saying hello how are you or they'll say hi mr jones we wanted we wanted to meet up with you at 4 <laughs> 30 yeah so if you're the nice guy you go oh my god no i'm sorry i'm not mr jones mm. you have the wrong address oh we're so sorry now they've locked you in yeah now they start filing you and looking you up and doing mm-hmm. all this shit then they they're trying to hack you now yeah they're trying I, to I get delete it those right away yeah yeah so what you got to yeah. do is you go in and go to info look down the thing it says block this call block it, then delete mm-hmm. it so they never bother you again. And one of them I got was something like, uh, congratulations J- Jason, you just won whatever I won. And I'm like, but, but I'm not Jason. <laughs> so that's just a scam again. Yeah. You know, that you, you actually call them back and say, no, I'm sorry, you know, somebody else. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, well, you know, maybe you won. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's a great one for the contractors out there. Yeah. 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 Be, be careful. Yeah. Be Especially very if you have a careful. website, you get hit all the time. Yeah. 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 We get it quite often. There was a, there was one that was going around for uh, Facebook. I don't know if it's still going around or not, but I mean, it was to the point where our producer, who's like so on top of all that stuff, even she was questioning whether or not it was legit. Yeah. yeah because it looks so real. Yeah. You know, they're like telling you, we're going to do all this. You know, we're going to take your site down, you know, because of whatever. So one of them that they sent us said because of animal cruelty, stuff that's on your site and it's like we don't even post anything with animals so we knew it was you know definitely well, a scam post me I'm yeah an animal. <laughs> that's true that's true and we're not always nice to you no no so I it's apologize. okay i don't care right. i'm an animal I'll do shit. yeah right so yeah so guess guess what well, yeah you've used my saw before my wet saw the, t- the tile saw yeah you the little one yeah the little rigid seven inch oh, great <sighs> the the fence finally broke the lever you know on the guide the yeah. fence it finally broke and it was it was plastic but man did this thing hold up i mean how long has that thing been around like 10 years or yeah. more yeah. i've used it so many times and the guys were bummed too they're like we love this little saw you know because it works so well so we went online and tried to find the replacement Nah, they don't make them anymore it's too old you know i gotta tell you all the tools out there right now as far as ryobi dewalt especially dewalt um chop saws um, all the tools, they're not made to last over five years. No. 
if you're aggressive with it, is if you're using them five days, you know, five days out of sure. the week, yeah, they're not going to last you more than three years. Right, they're not going to. They're made that way. They're plastic. They're not made. I mm-hmm. just got rid of my Hitachi. It was over twenty five years old. No kidding. I, wow. I couldn't. Yeah, it didn't yeah, break. I, well, yeah. the thing, I think, was just tearing me apart. It was <laughs> yeah. like, oh my god, it was like sixty pounds. Yeah, moving. It was just oh, too yeah. heavy, and I don't use it enough, and it's just too cumbersome. Yeah. So I saw my buddy down the dump. George and he was like, I'll take it. I got one just like this at home. Go, well, so, all right, go ahead. There you go, too. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Who's better than you, George? Right. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, Rigid. It was a good product. And I mean, they're we, the best. You know, yeah, they Rigid. are really good. We, we've got the larger saw um, from Rigid as well, yeah. which is great. And uh, we're probably going to end up just buying a second one that's that size. You know, because we're doing so much work with larger tile now. It's not like the subway yep. tile is, you know, still popular, yes, but. You know, that little saw you could put in the bathroom with you and just, Mm -hmm. you know, cut the, instead of going up and down the stairs, up and down. So, but, yeah, no more. Rigid originally was, I heard, was was plumbing equipment. Really? used to sell plumbing equipment. Oh, no kidding. And they branched out. The shop backs are the best. Yeah. You heard me talk about the one, the little, the smaller one on the wheels. Yeah. Like the torpedo one. Yep. You can't, it's got more vacuum, has more horsepower than the bigger ones. Yeah. And I tell that to people, to the to contractors. Yeah. Like, Dude, if you're not sucking up water out of a basement, this is the one you want. It's perfect. It's, it's compact in your truck. Yeah. And they work and it just, and they work work. Because those big ones are a pain in the ass to move around. Yeah. You know, I remember having them in the truck and trying to roll them out. And I mean, they were always cumbersome. So that little one is great. If you got water in the basement, they're good for that. They'll yeah. Suck the water right yep. up. That's what you want. But for the smaller ones, for the other jobs, and I take that and I, I put, hook my hose up to that when I'm sanding inside, I got my little portable sander on that, sucks it right into a bag. Boom. Mm-hmm. I'm good. Nice. Yeah. Those, nice. those, those German, have you seen the German ones that come out? What are they called? The, the Fez tool? Hmm. You seen those? Fez tool. Oh, the, don't they do like uh, drywall stuff? They, yeah. yeah. Drywall, like they're ex- extremely expensive. Very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, ridiculously. They're German made. Yeah. Really yeah. good. Yeah. And I hear it. They're fantastic. They're really, really good. Yeah. But I've been seeing a lot of going back to service. Really? Breaking. Mm. That's at, all I got to say. At that price. You don't want Oy to be pay. breaking. Yeah, oh. Ove is right. Nope. So yeah. So that's what I got right now, kid. Hey, buddy. That's the word on the street. All right. I got to run to an appointment, so yeah, we'll just wrap this up. We'll call it an early show. Yes. Quick one. Hopefully, you guys were entertained. Yeah. Hopefully, you learned a little bit too. Yeah. So we will see you next week. Next week, man. All right. Take yeah. care. Bye. Bye. Bye.